The Bionicle story is set in a science fantasy world and is primarily told through the book series Bionicle Chronicles, Bionicle Adventures, and Bionicle Legends, as well as through comic books published by DC Comics. Four films have also been made. Spheris Magna Spheris Magna is a fictional planet and home of the great beings the creators of the Matteran universe. It housed seven tribes of warriors governed by the «elemental lords» capable of controlling the substances that the different tribes represented namely fire, water, jungle, ice, sand, and rock. The seventh tribe, Iron, was wiped out by a plague prior to the creation of the Elemental Lords. Eventually, a substance later dubbed «Energized Protodermis» was found in the ice region and the dispute over extraction rights led to a war with the Element Lords as generals and the warriors as soldiers. Upon victory, the Fire Tribe began to extract the substance, but this split the planet in pieces, and the great beings created a massive robot, known as Mata Nui, to study other worlds and later to reform Spheris Magna. Thereafter the planet broke into three new worlds, a desert world Bara Magna, a jungle moon Bodha Magna, and an ocean moon Aqua Magna, whereupon the Aghori and warriors renamed the planet Bara Manga and established a legal system to prevent another war, based on trial by combat wherein each region was represented by a champion, called the Glatorian. When his longtime rival Makuta Teridix was destroyed, Mata Nui rebuilt Spheris Magna and changed the desert of Bara Magna into a massive, garden-like region, where the Agori, Glatorian, and other members of the Matteran universe and Spheris Magna could live in peace. <laughs> Principal features Topic Bara Magna Topic Arena Magna the largest arena, located in the city of Atero, is one of the few remnants of the old civilization, where the annual contest to find the best Glatorian was held. It is positioned to the north of Vulcanus, on an island in the great waterfall of Skrull River. In the last contest, the arena is destroyed by a massive Skrull invasion force, killing many Glatorian and Agori. This was the beginning of open hostility between the Rock tribe and those who lived by the Glatorian system. The Toa later rebuilt a new Atero, in the forest north of the Black Spike Mountains. Topic: Great Desert. The area formerly ruled by the Elemental Lord of Sand, a huge desert in the central region of Spheris Magna. It is home to the Sand Tribe. A large group of the Agori and Glatorian were here when the shattering of Spheris Magna occurred. Topic: Aqua Magna. Topic: Endless Ocean. An ocean that covers the majority of the planet. Many undersea creatures live here. Topic: Mata Nui. An island named after the eponymous character, and part of a camouflage system used by him, itself accidentally activated when Mata Nui fell into a coma and crash landed on Aqua Magna, where it became a tropical paradise. After their departure from Metru Nui, the Toa Metru built colonies on Mata Nui, which they ruled as Turaga. 
The coming of the Toa of Light saw the end of the Mataran's time on the island, whereafter they rebuilt Metru Nui. The island was destroyed upon the awakening of the Great Spirit. Tawahi is the volcanic region of fire and the former location of the village Ta Koro. It is the place where Tahu, Vakama, and the Ta Mataran live in, and is located in the eastern part of Mata Nui. Lawahi is the forested region of air and the former location of the village La Koro. It is the place where Lewa, Matau, and the La Mataran live in, and is located in the southern part of Mata Nui. Ko Wahi is the frozen region of ice and the former location of the village Ko Koro. It is the place where Kapaka, Nuju, and the Ko Mataran live in, and is located in the western part of Mata Nui. Ga Wahi is the oceanic region of water and the former location of the village Ga Koro. It is the place where Gali, Nokama and the Ga Mataran live in, and is located in the northeastern part of Mata Nui. Po Wahi is the arid region of stone and the former location of the village Po Koro. It is the place where Poatu, Wanwa and the Po Mataran live in, and is located in the northern part of Mata Nui. Onu Wahi is the dark and cavernous region of earth and the former location of the village Onu Koro. It is the place where Anua, Fanua and the Onu Mataran live in, and is located in the northwestern part of Mata Nui. Kini Nui is a special place on Mata Nui. It's also called the Great Temple, and is located in the center of Mata Nui. Topic: Bota Magna. Topic: Great Jungle. A jungle that covers the majority of the planet. Little is known about this location. Sapient vorix and biomechanical dinosaurs live here, among other things. The element Lord of Jungle once ruled this area. The Mataran universe The regions inside Mata Nui's body, where members of the Mataran race, Skakdi, Vortex, and other species exist for more information on the different species go to list of characters in Bionicle. It was taken over by Makuta Teridix, the villain of the saga. After Teridix was killed, all the inhabitants were evacuated to the restored Spheris Magna. <laughs> Metru Nui A city that acts as Mata Nui's brain, from which Protodermis is purified and shipped to the two great continents and other islands. Work here is crucial to the survival of Mata Nui. It was here that Makuta Teridix placed Mata Nui into an extended coma. It was invaded by the Visorak for a time, and recolonized 1,000 years later by Mataran. It was later heavily damaged, along with the rest of the Mataran universe, by Mata Nui, when he won his final battle against Teridix. Principal featureist Colosseum The highest point of the city and the place where the Turaga rule Metru Nui. It houses the city's power plant and enough seats for the entire population, the Ta Metru Great Furnace The place where molten protodermis was filtered and made into masks. It was also the nerve center of the Morbusic plant and its attacks on the city, until the plant was destroyed upon the Mataran's return. Repairs began on the region's great furnace, the Great Temple. The spiritual center of the city located in Ga Metru. At the center of the temple is the Toa Suva, that holds Kanohi masks and Toa stones. 
It was badly damaged by Vakama under the sway of Rudaka, but has since been repaired by the Mataran. Karzani A realm ruled by the being of the same name where Mataran who were damaged or poor workers were sent. It was revealed in Bionicle Legends No. 02, Dark Destiny that Karzani was meant to repair the Mataran, but instead sent the «repaired» Mataran to the island of Voya Nui. When he left to follow the Toa Anika and rule the universe, Makuta Ikarix came here in possession of the staff of Artaka. In response, Gali Nuva destroyed the island, and the Mataran were evacuated by her teammates Anua and Lewa. Later, a ragtag team led by Tahu camped here after defeating the Makuta controlled Exo Toa. Voya Nui A piece of the southern continent that broke away during the Great Cataclysm and resting place of the Kanohi Ignaka, Mask of Life. Its inhabitants were sent there from Karzani's island, horribly deformed and mutilated. The Mataran had to survive without a Turaga for a thousand years. The island has now returned to its place in the universe. Principal Featurist Green Belt An unexplained band of vegetation that extends round Voya Nui. The Paraka searched it for the mask. It concealed the entrance to the 777 stairs, which led to the Chamber of Life. Mount Valmai a very active volcano in the center of the island, serving as the roof of the Chamber of Life. The Paraka, in their time of ruling over the island, tried to drain the volcano in search of the Ignaka. It still exists, though it has now rejoined the southern continent. The Chamber of Life a secret chamber under Mount Valmai, guarded by Umbra, Protodax, and many other creations. Until recently, it held the Ignaka. <inaudible> Mari Nui A sunken Mataran village. It was once part of Voya Nui, but broke off and sank down into the sea. By some miracle, air pockets were trapped inside the buildings, meaning most of the Mataran survived, though the trauma of the experience wiped their memories of Voya Nui. They harvested the surrounding air fields to replenish their air and tamed creatures called Hydrica, who helped them with their harvesting and defense. It was destroyed by Voya Nui on its descent and its Mataran were reunited with their counterparts and as of Bionicle Legends No. 08, Downfall, are living together with them on Voya Nui. Principal Featurist Pit Neighboring the village of Mari Nui is the ancient prison created by the Order of Mata Nui, for some of the worst criminals in the Mataran universe. At different times it has held the Baraki, Brutaka, Nocturne, Rudaka, Karzani, and Toa Toyot though this one was later revealed to be an alternate dimension Toyot, the main dimensions was sent to another dimension until she found her way back. During the Great Cataclysm, a portion of the roof collapsed, mutating the prisoners into part sea creature and killing the original Hydroxen. It still functions as a prison, now that its roof and cells have been repaired. The cord A stone cord anchoring and connecting Voya Nui with Mari Nui. It was here that the Toa Anika battled a swarm of Ziglak and Makuta Teridics. It was destroyed by the Toa Mari, forcing Voya Nui to drop back into the gap in the southern continent. Karda Nui A massive cavern below the southern continent, what might be called the heart of the Great Spirit. 
It is so vast that it has been dubbed, the world that feeds into this world. It was regularly swept over by energy storms powerful enough to destroy virtually anything caught in them. These storms stopped when Mata Nui fell into his sleep, but have now restarted. There was a great swamp on the cavern floor, now destroyed along with anything else. As of the 2009 storyline, Karta Nui is uninhabitable once more due to Mata Nui's awakening. Principal Featurist Cadrex A large metal sphere set in the floor of Karta Nui, which formerly contained the Toa Mata, and later the vehicles they used in the final battle with the Makuta there. It also housed machinery that, with enough energy gathered, could awaken Mata Nui, the swamp. When Mata Nui was put into his sleep and Voya Nui separated from its continent, water from the ocean above the same ocean Mari Nui was located in started to leak in through the hole. Plant life grew there, turning the floor into a vast swamp. Due to the sheer size of Karta Nui, despite water pouring in for thousands of years, the cavern never flooded, instead creating the swamp. The plants and some of the wildlife there were changed immensely by the mutagenic properties of the water. Other islands Though not featured as the main settings of the various yearly themes or novels, several other islands were included in the original series. Artaka A mysterious island ruled over by Artaka, the brother of Karzani, and a place where Madarin who performed well in their labors were sent as a reward. Many important artifacts, including the Kanohi Nuva and Masks of Light and Shadow, were created on Artaka, however, after the Mask of Light was stolen from here by the Brotherhood of Makuta, Artaka cut off all contact with the outside world while the Order of Mata Nui hunted down and killed anyone with knowledge of the island's whereabouts. Adina Home base of the Dark Hunters, the villainous band of mercenaries who battle Toa and Makuta alike. Daxia Headquarters of the Order of Mata Nui, a secret island from which they act to protect the universe. Destral Primary fortress of the Brotherhood of Makuta, an island that can be moved from place to place through the use of dimensional portal technology. Shaw Homeland of Rudaka and a prime site of weapons manufacturing in the Madarin universe. Zakas Homeland of the Paraka, a place of complete anarchy where various factions fight against each other for dominance. Stelt Homeland of Kreka and Sidoric, a center of commerce and gladiatorial combat. Artidics an island far to the south of Metru Nui where Makuta Mazarix was imprisoned after he was deposed by Teridix as leader of the Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Alternate universes The Bionicle storyline has many alternate realities, where small changes led to enormous differences between the alternate universe and the prime universe, where the main story takes place. The Kingdom In this universe, Toa Matoro hesitated for an instant too long while chasing Voya Nui on its way back to its original location, and the hole between Karta Nui and Aqua Magna was sealed off permanently, making him unable to use the Kanohi Ignaka to bring Mata Nui back to life. The Toa Mari were forced to return to Metru Nui, and the Turaga began a mass exodus out of the Madarin universe to the planet above. 
there, all of the species minus the Makuta, who were kept out, and the Ziglak, who chose not to go worked together to create a great city that eventually became known as the Kingdom of the Great Spirit. Matoro was regarded as a failure due to his hesitation, but later teamed up with Prime Takanuva after the Toa of Light arrived here on his way to his world's Karta Nui and helped destroy Makuta Teridix, the last surviving Makuta of this universe. <laughs> Dark Mirror When Toa Lakan and Nidiki were battling the rogue Toa Toyot, Nidiki sided with her and killed Lakan. Toyot went on to create an empire out of the Matteran universe, with all the species as her slaves. Eventually, Toa Takanuva from the Prime Universe stumbled across the Toa Empire while on his way to Karta Nui. He eventually escaped through use of Toyot's Kanohi Almak, which led to her being killed when the portal created by the Almak closed on her, leaving one half in her universe, and the other left floating in the void between universes. <laughs> Akoto The setting of the 2015 reboot its geography is somewhat similar to that of Mata Nui, with six major regions based on each of the six major elements, fire, ice, jungle, water, stone, and earth. Each region is home to shrines for both the original golden masks sought by the Toa and for the elemental creatures, from which the Toa recovered their golden unity masks. Topic. City of the Mask Makers The City of the Mask Makers is an ancient city built near the center of Akoto that was once home to the Mask Makers Ikimu and Makuta and a thriving civilization. However, after Makuta created and donned the Mask of Ultimate Power and Ikimu defeated him, the city was left desolate and empty, and the rest of the island was also heavily affected. After retrieving their golden masks, the Toa traveled here in order to awaken Ikimu, and were forced to deal with the dual threats of the Lord of Skull Spiders and the Skull Army under the Skull Grinder. Topic. Labyrinth of Control An ancient maze located on an island off the coast of the region of jungle, apparently with a connection to the mysterious past of the Toa. It was here that the six elemental creatures took Makuta's Mask of Control following the Battle of the Mask Makers, and this location was eventually sought by both the Toa and Umarak in search of the mask. The Toa were eventually led here by the creatures and Umarak by Makuta, and the hunter kidnapped the creature of stone in order to obtain the mask. Topic. Temple of Time The most ancient site on the entire island, home to the upper half of the Mask of Time, the whereabouts of the lower half are unknown. Ikimu visited the temple in ancient times in order to learn what would befall Akoto in the future, and the modern protectors gathered here to use the mask and the prophecy of heroes to summon the Toa to Akoto. Topic. Great Crater, Black Crater The site of Ikimu and Makuta's battle centuries ago, it was once Akoto's capital city in the region of stone, but the metropolis was leveled by the conflict between the mask makers. Topic. Shadow Realm 
a dark dimension where Makuta was imprisoned following his defeat. It also contains the destroyed capital city of Akoto and various minions of Makuta. <laughs> <laughs> 